Hello friends. In this video, we are going to solve a question on process costing. We are going to see the treatment of normal loss and transfer of the output of one process to another process and the determination of the rate at which the output is transferred to the next process. This question was asked in May 2018 new syllabus inter exams. So let us begin with the question. So it is given that Alpha Limited is engaged in the production of product A which passes through the three different processes P, Q and R. The data relating to cost and output is given for the month of April 2017. So the direct material cost and the direct labor costs have been given. The production overheads are recovered as a percentage of direct labor cost. 10,000 kg of raw materials at 5 per kg was issued to process P. There was no stock of material or work in progress. The entire output of each process passes directly to the next process and finally to the warehouse. There is no normal wastage in processing. Sorry, there is normal wastage of 10%. The scrap value of wastage is 1 per kg. The output transferred to the next process is given. The company fixes the selling price of the end product in such a way so as to yield a profit of 25% of the selling price. So what is the requirement of the question? We have to prepare P, process P, Q and R accounts and also calculate the selling price per unit of the end product. So let us begin with process P account. So process P account. We have the particulars. Kg amount. Particulars. Kg amount. So it is given that 10,000 kg of raw material at 5 per kg was issued to process P. So to input, we have 10,000 kg at 5 per kg. So the amount is 50,000 rupees. Then we have been given the direct material and direct labor costs of process P. So to direct material, Process P thirty eight thousand to direct labor is thirty thousand. Next, we have the production overheads. Production overheads are absorbed as a percentage of direct labor. So, we are going to buy a lot of uh, apportion it. To the three processes in the ratio of 3 is to 4 is to 5 which is the ratio of the direct labor cost. So the production overhead to be absorbed by process P is 90,000 into 3 by 12. 12 is a total that is 30,000 plus 40,000 plus 50,000 gives us 1,20,000 and we have 30,000 as a numerator. So we are going to absorb it to the ratio 3 is to 12. So this gives us 90,000 into 3 divided by 12 is 22,500. Now it is given in the question that there is a normal wastage of 10%. So, by normal wastage,
it is 10 percent so it will be 10,000 into 10 percent which is 1,000 units is a normal wastage now it is given in the question that the normal wastage is sold at a value of 1 rupee per kg that is we recover 1 rupee per kg of normal wastage so the scrap value will be reduced from the total cost incurred in the process had there been no scrap value then this column would have been empty but since we are recovering some amounts we credit it to the total costs incurred in the process so we have accounted for the direct material costs labor cost input and production overheads and normal wastage so let us calculate the rate at which the output of process p will be transferred to the next process so by process q account out of 10000 1000 units 1000 kg is a normal wastage so only the remaining quantity that is 9000 kg will be transferred to the next process so the cost per unit will be the total cost is 50000 plus 38000 plus 30000 plus 22500 which is 140500 out of 140500 we have recovered 1000 rupees by way of sale of the normal waste so our total cost will be 140500 minus 1000 which is 139500 now this total cost will have to be absorbed by the good units that is the cost of normal wastage is not separately recognized so we are going to divide the total cost by 9000 kgs which is 10000 which was a total input minus 1000 which was a normal wastage giving us 9000 kg so each kg will have to absorb 15.5 rupees so the cost of material to be transferred to process Q will be calculated as 9000 kgs into 15.5 rupees which is 1,39,500 so to balance the account 10,000 one lakh forty nine thousand five hundred. So one lakh forty thousand five hundred similarly on the credit side ten thousand is a total kg and one lakh forty thousand five hundred. So we have cal uh, we have prepared the process P account. All the costs are appearing on the left side. The scrap value of the normal wastage is reduced from the total cost to arrive at the costs incurred in process P. The output to be transferred to process Q is measured at the total cost incurred minus the salvage value divided by the good units that is the total input which is 10,000 kg minus the normal loss that is 1,000 kg. Now, similarly, we are going to prepare the process Q account. So, process Q account, we have particulars, kg, amount, particulars, kg, and amount. So, the first entry will be the transfer entry that is the output of process P which has been transferred to process Q. So to process P account we have 9000 kgs at 1,39,500 rupees 
then we have in the question that the direct material cost uh, the direct material cost for process q is given as 42500 we have direct labor cost as 40000 and production overheads of 90000 to be absorbed as a percentage of direct labor so let us recognize for these costs in the process account so to direct material we have 42500 to direct labor we have 40000 and to production overheads We have 9,000, 90,000 rupees into 4 by 12, which is 30,000. Now, it was given that normal wastage in all processes is 10%. So, by normal wastage will be 10% of 9,000, which is 900 kgs. And 1 rupee is recovered per kg of the normal wastage so the amount recovered will be 9000 rupees that is 900 kg into 1 rupee per kg which is 9000 sorry 900 rupees now it is given that in process q 8200 kgs have been transferred to the next process so by process R account, we have 8200 kgs. So, the total input in process Q was 9000 kgs, out of which 900 is a normal loss, and 8200 kg has been transferred to the next process. So, we can see that we have an extra 100 kg produced in process Q. So, this is an abnormal gain that is we have had extra units produced in the process of 100 kgs so now we have to calculate that at what amount we will recognize this abnormal gain and the 8200 kgs of units transferred to the next process so, the cost per unit, the total cost incurred is 1,39,500 plus 42,500 plus 40,000 direct labor plus 30,000 production overheads, which is 2,52,000, out of which 900 rupees has been recovered by way of sale of normal wastage. Now, this total uh, cost that is incurred, which is 252,000 minus 900, which is 251,100, will be absorbed by the good units. The good units are 9,000 kg, which was a total input to process Q minus 900 kg which is the normal wastage giving us 8100 kg so the cost per kg is 31 rupees therefore 8200 kgs will be transferred to the next process at the rate of 31 per kg giving us 254200 Also, we have an abnormal gain of 100 kgs. This will also be recognized at 31 per kg. So, we have 3100 rupees as the abnormal gain. Now, if we balance the count, it will be balanced 9100 kgs, 9100 kgs, and the total cost on the amount side, we have a total of 2,55,100. And two lakh 
two lakh fifty five thousand one hundred on the left side. So we saw that just as we did in process P, the total cost incurred in process Q is reduced by the amount recovered on sale of normal wastage. We calculated the cost per unit by subtracting the recovered amount from the total cost incurred and dividing it by the good unit produced. We did not add or less this 100 kgs, which was the abnormal gain, while calculating the cost per unit. The abnormal gain is also recognized at the cost per kg, which is calculated as total cost divided by the good units, which is the in, uh, quantity input to the process subtracted by the normal wastage. Now, in the same fashion, we are going to prepare the third and final process account which is process R account. So for process R, we have been given that the direct material cost is 42,880, direct labor 50,000, production overhead 90,000 in the percentage of direct labor, normal wastage will again be 10% of the total input. So let us first recognize these costs. So process R account we have particulars kg amount particulars kg amount so first we are going to identify we are going to account for the direct material, uh, the units that we have transferred from process Q. So to process Q account, we had transferred 8,200 kgs of material at the rate of 2,54,200 rupees. So to process Q account, 8,200 kgs to 2,54,200 to direct material cost as given in the question. Which is 42,880 to direct labor as given in the question, which is 50,000 to production overheads as given in the question of 90,000 into 5 by 12, which is 37,500 rupees. Next, we have a normal wastage of 10%, which will be 820 kgs, that is 10% of 8200, which is recovered at the rate of 1 rupee per kg as given in the question. Now, it is given in the question that the output of process R is 7300 kgs. So, By finished goods, we have 7,300 kgs. So we see that out of the total quantity that was input to process R, that is 8,200 kgs, we have 820 as a normal loss, and 7,300 units have been trans uh, have been produced as finished goods. So the balance of 80 kgs is your abnormal loss. So, by abnormal loss is 80 kgs. Now, the normal loss is absorbed by the good units. That is, when we calculate the cost per unit, we subtract the normal wastage from the total input and then the total cost is absorbed by the balance units. But, the abnormal loss is not absorbed by the good units. It is debited to the costing PL account. So let us calculate the cost per kg. So we have the total cost 2,54,200 plus 42,880 plus 50,000 plus 37,500 which is 3,84,580 
minus 820, which was a normal loss, divided by the total input to process R, which is 8200 kgs, minus the normal loss, which is 820 kgs. So the value comes as we have 3,83,760 divided by 7380 which gives us the cost per kg as 52 per kg so our abnormal loss will be 80 kg into 52 per kg giving us 4160 and finished goods will be 7300 kg into 52 rupees which is 3 lakh 79,600 so the total kg is 8200 on both sides and 3 lakh 84,580 on the amount side So now that we have prepared all the process account, our next question requires us to calculate the selling price. So it is given in the question that the profit is 25% on the selling price. So if the selling price is 100 rupees the cost will be 75 rupees that is 25 percent which is 25 rupees is a profit so the cost is 75 so if the cost is 52 rupees as we have derived as we have arrived at while preparing the process R account then the selling price by unitary method will be 100 by 75 into 52 which is rupees 69.33 so with this we have completed this question so in this question we have seen three major adjustments that comes in the process costing the first was a treatment of normal loss So as we have seen that the cost of normal loss is absorbed by all the good quantities that is the total input minus the normal loss. The total cost minus the scrap value of normal loss is divided by the total input minus the normal loss. Second, we had seen the treatment of abnormal gain, which is any quantity which was produced uh, extra. Now this, the value of this gain is credited to the costing PL account. It is recognized at the rate per kg as determined by this formula only. Similarly, abnormal loss is also recognized at this amount only and it is debited to the costing PL account. So, whenever you have to calculate the cost per unit at the end of the process account, the formula is total cost incurred minus the scrap value if any recovered on the normal loss sale and we divide it with the total input minus the normal loss your abnormal gain and your abnormal loss and your good units are recognized at this rate only abnormal gain is credited 
to the costing PL account and abnormal loss is debited to the costing PL account. And one of the best things in process costing is that since you are preparing an account, if you are doing it correctly, then your process accounts should tally at the end of the sum. If you have recognized all your figures correctly, it can still tally if you miss one or two entries. So do read the question properly and account for each and every expense as given in the question. Only after that can you calculate the value of the record uh, of the output that has to be transferred to the next process. If you like the video, do share and subscribe. If you have any doubts, you can post them in the comment section below. I hope these concepts are clear to you. Thank you and happy learning.